for day. Yung topic natin ngayon ay odd and even functions. Yung gusto nating matutunan ngayon ay una, ma-define kung ano ba yung odd at even functions. Pangalawa, ma-determine natin kung ang function ay odd or even or neither odd nor even based sa itsura ng graph niya. And third, ma-determine natin if we're given a function f of x kung odd siya or even by evaluating the function at negative x. So let's recall na ang symmetry isa siyang geometric transformation that will map our figure onto itself. In other words, pag nag-apply tayo ng isang geometric transformation sa isang figure, is parang walang nangyari dun sa figure na yun, merong symmetry si figure na yun with respect to that geometric transformation. Let's have an example. Let's consider this Starshire logo na nakuha ko sa Shutterstock. If we draw a vertical line sa gitna niya, makikita natin na meron siyang symmetry with respect to mirror reflection along that line. What does it mean? It means na pag finold natin siya along that line, mag-overlap yung left and yung right side. Or if we apply a mirror reflection transformation sa logo, tapos yung axis of mirror reflection natin ay yung red na line, yung left side, mamamap lang siya sa right side. Yung right side, mamamap sa left at parang walang nangyaring kakaiba dun sa figure. So, you can imagine flipping it, flipping it, and it will still look the same. You wouldn't know na may transformation na nangyari. We could take a look at polynomial and rational functions. Here, I have a polynomial function that will exhibit that same property na pag nag-apply tayo ng mirror reflection transformation across the y-axis, yung left side ng graph mamap sa right, yung right side mamap sa left, parang walang nagbago. Or pag pinaikot natin siya dun sa axis na yun, yung flip tsaka yung original, pareho lang or mag-overlap lang sa isa't isa. Here we have the DOST logo. And the DOST logo has a 90 degree rotational symmetry about its center. So if you rotate it 90 degrees, parang walang nangyari. Another 90 degrees, ganun pa rin. You could also see a similar symmetry sa mga ambigrams. So here I have an ambigram of a Gilas logo. Siguro ignore natin yung colors ng blue, red, and white. And yung shape ng stars. And focus lang tayo dun sa outline ng words. If we apply a 180-degree rotation about its center, it would still say gilas. So parang walang nangyari dun sa outline ng word na gilas. May makikita rin tayong polynomial and rational functions that will exhibit the same symmetry. So in this case, I have a rational function. Makikita natin na meron siyang asymptotes, vertical asymptotes, that is symmetric with respect to 180 degree rotations about its origin. So if we rotate it 180 degrees, parang wala nangyari dun sa graph kahit nakita natin na yung axis niya umikot na. So gagamitin natin yung symmetries ng mga graphs para i-define kung odd or even functions sila. Let's start with the even functions. An even function, it's a function na yung graph niya nagde-demonstrate ng mirror reflection symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So here are some examples. This is the cosine function. This is an absolute value na in absolute value ko ulit. And here we have a rational function. Na imagine, pag finold natin tong tatlong graphs na to along the y-axis, mag-overlap lang yung left at yung right side. Let's recall na meron tayong transformation nung nag-discuss tayo ng reflections dati that will map xy papunta kay negative xy. So, si 2, 3, kung imamap natin siya using this transformation, mapupunta si 2, 3 kay negative 2, 3. Si negative 5, negative 2, magkakaroon tayo ng image sa 5, negative 2, like so. And recall, pag nag-drawing tayo ng line segments connecting corresponding points sa isang mirror reflection transformation, yung line segments na yun ay magiging parallel sa isa't isa and at the same time, they are perpendicular to the axis of mirror reflection, in this case, the y-axis. So if we have a function f of x, pag in-evaluate natin si f of negative x, imamap lang niya yung pre-image natin na function across the y-axis using a mirror reflection transformation. So if this is h of x, then this will be the graph of h of negative x. Makikita natin dito na pag in-evaluate natin yung function at negative x, mag-undergo siya ng mirror reflection transformation across the y-axis. 
Pero ano yung sinabi natin sa even functions? Symmetric siya with respect to a mirror reflection transformation across the y-axis. So dapat, pag nag-evaluate tayo ng f of negative x sa isang even function, parang walang mangyayari. Kasi imamap niya tong left side sa right side and yung right side sa left side. So what actually happens when we evaluate an even function at negative x? So here we have the graph of x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 4. This is an even function based sa graph. If you evaluate for negative x, ibig sabihin lang lahat ng x magiging negative x. But negative x quantity squared, it's just x squared. So babalik lang tayo sa original function, or therefore f of negative x is equal to f of x. Tingin naman tayo sa isang polynomial function. Again, by inspection, Pag finold natin siya along the y-axis, mag-overlap lang yung left and yung right side. So g of negative x will be negative x raised to the fourth minus 3 times negative x squared plus 1. Again, negative x to the fourth, magiging positive lang siya. Yung negative x quantity squared, magiging positive x squared lang din siya. So babalik tayo sa original function, and so g of negative x is equal to g of x. So, an odd function naman, this is a function na yung graph niya nag-demonstrate ng 180 degree rotational symmetry about the origin. So, here we have the graph of sin x. Here, I have the graph of g of x equals x to the fifth minus 7x cubed minus 2x. Let's recall, when we were talking about rotation, pag nag-map tayo ng point x, y, papunta sa negative x, negative y, this is reflecting a point across the y-axis and then reflecting the same point across the x-axis. And again, dalawang reflections na yung axis nila ay 90 degrees, yung angle sa isa't isa, times to nun, yun yung angle of rotation. So mapping xy papunta kay negative x, negative y, this is a 180 degree rotation about the origin. So, si negative 2, 3, pupunta siya kay 2, positive 3. Si 5, negative 3, pupunta siya kay negative 5, positive 3. And si negative 4, negative 1, pupunta kay 4, 1. If we connect the corresponding points, lahat sila dadaan sa origin. At lahat sila, well, imagine, mag 180 degree, rotated 180 degrees. From the pre-image, pupunta dun sa image. At yung origin, yung ating center of rotation. Let's take a look at this polynomial function, f of x. Pag tinignan natin si f of negative x, that will be a reflection across the y-axis. Tapos pag ni-negative naman natin siya, so nag-apply muna tayo ng negative x na mapping, then yung negative y naman na mapping, mag-flip naman siya or magre-reflect naman siya across the x-axis. And combining the two reflections, we'll have a 180 degree rotation from f of x papunta kay negative f of negative x. But what did we say about odd functions? Ang odd function, meron siyang 180 degree rotational symmetry about the origin. So, ibig sabihin, pag ginawa natin tong negative of f of negative x, dapat parang walang nangyari. So, let's take a look at some examples. Here, I have the graph na visually makikita natin na may 180 degree rotational symmetry about the origin. Ito yung kanina. This is g of x and it's given by x to the fifth minus 7x cubed minus 2x. Now, tingnan natin. Evaluate natin siya at negative x. g of negative x, this will be negative x to the fifth minus 7 times negative x cubed minus 2 times negative x. Negative x raised to the fifth it's still negative. So we could just take out the negative sign. Yung negative x cubed, lalabas natin negative sign, magiging positive yung coefficient natin na 7. And negative 2 times negative x, magiging positive 2x. Now take a look dito sa second line. Pag finactor out natin si negative 1 from all the terms, ang makukuha natin ay negative nung original function. So, g of negative x, this is just equal to negative g of x. So, kung ililipat natin yung negative sign sa left-hand side, you could see that the negative 
of g of negative x or yung nireflect natin across the y-axis as nireflect natin across the x-axis, babalik tayo dun sa original function natin. So we could say na nung in-evaluate natin siya, naipakita natin na add function siya, which is confirmed by yung shape ng graph niya and yung behavior ng graph niya. Second example, again, we could see that pag inikot natin itong second example na to, ng 180 degrees, parang walang mangyayari kung hindi natin makikita mag-flip din yung number sa axis. So this is the function h of x equals x to the 4th minus 2x squared minus 3 all over x to the 5th minus 3x cubed plus x. If we evaluate the function at negative x, yung numerator magiging negative x to the 4th minus 2 times negative x squared minus 3 since even yung exponents nila, parang wala nangyari sa numerator natin. But if you take a look at the denominator, negative x to the fifth minus 3 times negative x cubed plus negative x, bawat term magpapalit ng sign. So if we factor out negative 1 out of all the terms sa denominator, this is what we will get. At pag nilabas natin yung negative dun sa fraction, makita natin yung fraction. It's just the same as the original function natin na h of x. So we could see here that h of negative x is equal to negative h of x. Multiply tayo negative 1 to both sides. And then we can see that for this example, the negative of h of negative x will bring us back to the original function h of x. So this is an odd function.